Welcome back. Okay, we're going to continue where we left off with example one. Now, what we had in example one, let me run it real quick just to remind you that we're up to this point right here, where if you entered in your name, William, you hit clear, it cleared it, you hit exit, it, it exited out. Let's now put a blank label in there. So after the clear button, I'm going to add in a blank label, J label. Let's call it result label. And now this label is not going to have anything in it. Now since I want it to be blank, you still have to put the quotation marks but with nothing in it. And then you do add result label. What we're going to do, what I'm going to show you, is how to hit the uh, uh, button that I haven't made yet, the retrieve button or the get button, I need to make that, to retrieve the name that's in the name field and print it into the result label. So let's call this name button equals new J button and let's refer to it as get name. So that will appear on the screen and it'll say get name inside the button. Now I want to make the button active so I could actually use it. So name button dot add action listener this and then I want to add the button to the screen. So what you'll see on the screen right now is an extra button. So say get name. Now there's a label after this you just don't see yet. So there's nothing there to be seen, but it's something we get to work with in a second. So the button down here, I want to do else f word dot equals get name. And again, make sure it's spelled exactly the same. All the capitalization exactly the same and spelled exactly the same. So it's a get name there. Now what I want to do is get the name I want to get the name that I that I put in name field. So here's name field. Name field is look, it's not declared here, so it's a global variable because it's declared up here. Inside of here, what I want to have is string name. So I'm making some variable that's going to get the name. So I put name field dot set text. Uh, not set text, sorry. It's not set uh, we want get text and that's the difference here we want to go to name field and get the text out of there and save it as this variable called name then after I get the name I want to clear the name field out dot set text to nothing so blank now right now when I run this it's not going to run there's still one more step at the end I want to do, but if I put my name in, William, and I hit get name, right now it cleared out. What happened was on line 58, it went and retrieved that name, saved his name, then it went to line 59, it said, okay, go to name field, now set the text to blank, and it's gone. Now what I want to do is this label, the result label, I want to put the name in there. So the way we do this is we do result label dot set text. First thing, this is a local variable. It's only between these two brackets. What I need to do is make it a global variable. So I'm copying it, I'm deleting it, realizing you can't have a local and a global variable. And then up here I'm declaring it as a global variable. So now anywhere in the program I can use result label. So line 61, what I'm going to say is result label dot set text to, and I'll say entered name was, and then I put plus name. So whatever the entered name was, now will appear in this label. Run this real quick. So I do I type my name in, William, I 
get name. It clears it out like it said on line 60 and then line 61 says okay get that result label set the text to say entered I guess I entered name was William. If I hit clear that only clears the text box. If you want to clear the label what you would want is up in the clear you want to do result label dot set text the text of the label to blank. So now the result label will clear everything again. So if we put the name uh, Heath, get name, enter name was Heath, it cleared that out. If I type another name, Violet, get name, enter name was Violet, hit clear, it will also now clear the label. Hit exit. So that's how we're going to be able to retrieve strings. We're going to be able to, it's the set text and get text every time. Get text will retrieve it. You need to store it as a string when you get that text. Set text sets the image that you see on the screen inside the labels and text fields and buttons and all sorts of different swing options that we have. Hopefully that will help you this time.